Hello everyone, it's me Ilian from DM Trading Bulgaria and the day has come for me to share with you yet another trading plan. Uh, last week's trading plan uh, worked out perfectly. I hope you managed to uh, take advantage of it and uh, we'll do a quick recap on it tomorrow. Uh, but today we'll focus on our new trading plan uh, which will be based on the euro odd currency pair. As usual, we are going to look at a few different time frames. And for today's trading plan V, I have prepared for you uh, something very interesting. I'll show you basically how to uh, easily outline support and resistance areas. Uh, now, the topic of our next masterclass presentation, uh, which takes place in Beta House in Sofia each Wednesday from 7 o'clock Bulgarian time, will be how to analyze the market and we'll talk a bit more in depth uh, on this topic with the support and resistance. So if you're in Sofia, if you live in Sofia, you're more than welcome to join us tomorrow. Uh, and now uh, let's get on with the plan. Uh, what you see on the screen now is the H4 uh, time frame of the currency pair Euro Australian Dollar. Now you can see that I already marked uh, two H4 resistance areas and two H4 support areas. But first I want to switch to a line chart and show you why I marked those levels. You can see that with the red uh, circles I have marked all the uh, bottoms, um, strong bottoms, the price made. And uh, with the green circles I have marked some of the tops uh, the price made. Uh, so you can see that this way it's uh, super easy to define where uh, the traders and the other participants on the market will be looking uh, when the price reaches those areas and they will mark them as support and resistance areas which will uh, most likely have some impact on uh, the price of the currency pair. Uh, you can see that also on the line chart, it's easy to spot that currently we are in an uptrend. You can see we are having uh, higher lows and so far higher highs. Uh, I'll just mark the last high height the price made over here. Now, why did I mark this area as uh, an H4 resistance area 1? Well, you can see that here, this area acted as a strong support. We had, uh, after a very strong move down, we had a pretty strong move up. After it was broken, it acted as a resistance area here and the price continued further down. Currently, the price is standing uh, right below this area. So, uh, one of the scenarios I will be expecting here is for the price to make a new wave down from that area. Now, just in case we have this H4 resistance area too, uh, you can see after the, this correction, if I may call it to this impulse wave, and that here uh, the price has never reached uh, to that area uh, after that. So if we reach it, I expect a strong uh, reaction from that area as well. Now, regarding the H4 support 1 and H4 support area 2, you can see how the price uh, behaved in this area, first as a support, here as a resistance, and after it was broken, the price never reached it, so if we see a downtrend move from this H4 resistance 1, uh, I expect it to stop at this H4 support 1. Now, again, here we have an H4 support 2. Uh, this basically marks the last bottom formed by a price here after this swing down. Uh, you can see the next bottom was uh, higher. So uh, this shows us that maybe the price uh, has entered into an uptrend uh, and you can see it has. So using the line chart um, helps you easier, easily define higher highs, uh, lower lows, and basically all the lows and highs, and use them to draw your uh, support and resistance areas. 
Now turning on to the candle uh, stick chart, we can see uh, a better visualization of the reaction of the price from those areas. You can see here how strongly it reacted. Again here after the break we had a small retracement to that area and a continuation. Again here you can see the reaction after the break and uh, the pullback you can see again uh, how strong reaction we had from that area. And currently you can see uh, what a strong reaction we are having from this H4 resistance area. Uh, you can see that on the previous H4 candle the price dropped down to the H4 support one but uh, a lot of buyers were anticipating the touch of that level. You can see how they pushed the price back up and currently uh, they tried to push the price uh, above this H4 resistance one but so far they failed uh, the bears uh, gain, regained control of the market and you can see how uh, the price was pushed down and currently uh, we are seeing a bearish engulfing formation actually this is even a morning star formation if I'm not mistaken uh, I'm more inclined to use uh, engulfing formations however uh, this shows us a few possible scenarios which we can anticipate and take advantage of. Uh, the first scenario for me would be to see a drop of the price from this H4 resistance once, a resistance one, uh, back to the H4 support one. And uh, since we are already in an uptrend, uh, I expect from the H4 support one to see a new uptrend wave. Uh, breaking this H4 resistance one and probably reaching to the H4 resistance two. Now, uh, the other scenario here would be for the price to remain in sort of a range uh, between H4 resistance one and H4 support one, uh, which would mean it's still not confirmed, of course, but that would mean that we will have to uh, implement our strategy for range trading and uh, we will be waiting and anticipating the break either of the H4 resistance one or H4 support one. If we see a break of any of those levels, uh, if we have a range before that of course, uh, I, can, I expect for the price to easily reach either the H4 support two if uh, the bottom of this uh, possible range is broken or the H4 resistance two if uh, the uh, ceiling or the top of this range possible range formation is broken. Now going down to the H1 uh, we are seeing some severe reactions from those two areas uh, you can see here and now here. Uh, the H1 and M30 would uh, be our uh, entry uh, time frames. Uh, in this case let me pick some other color. We can uh, look for buy opportunities down here if we see again a reversal from here and a continuation of this possible range. Uh, we can also look for if we see actually a break here of this uh, H4 support one. We can wait for a small correction back to the H4 support one which will turn into a resistance and then look for sell opportunity down to the H4 support two. Uh, and again if we see from for example if we see a break above this uh, H4 resistance one although I think it's highly unlikely to see it right now I would expect for the price to reach back to the H4 support one first but if we see it again we can wait for a correction, small correction on the H1 or M30 back to this H uh, broken resistance which will turn into a support and then look for uh, buy opportunities up to the H4 resistance too. So this will be the scenarios, uh, those will be my uh, so-called possible entry spots. Uh, I just want to say that I'll post this uh, plan as usual on our trading view profile so you can go and check its development there again in the description of the plan I will add all these zones in numbers so it will be easier for you to draw them on your graph no matter 
uh, which, um, how to say it, uh, no matter which graph you are using basically. And uh, that's it on this plan. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the short sort of a tip lesson I gave you in this plan. And um, I hope you follow it. Uh, there is a lot of possibilities for some good profits uh, on this pair uh, throughout this week and probably the next as well. So uh, join our Telegram if you haven't. Uh, there we will post live signals based on this plan. And join us in Beta House tomorrow if you are able for the second presentation of our masterclass uh, called How to Analyze the Markets. Thank you very much for your attention and our team wishes you a good and profitable week.